it. Go spray my makeup. All right. Did you wear those clothes yesterday? No, these are clean. Well, I mean, well, the jeans I wore yesterday, but everything else is new. Why? I don't know. It just looks like you wore those clothes yesterday. Just the jeans. Yeah, I got it. So, uh, what's up? Well, I just, can I get you anything? Uh, raspberry iced tea? Anything else? Did I order anything else? Be right back. She didn't have to do that. She was just being nice. Uh, no, she was being incompetent. I ordered raspberry iced tea. That's all I want. Yeah, but it's kind of her job. Okay, and that's okay. I don't have time for this. There's no sugar in this. It's on the table. I have to put in my own sugar. I mean, what do they pay these people to do? I like sugar in their iced tea. Yeah, well, I do. Enough about the tea. Like I said, I don't have time for this. You got somewhere to be, do you? <sighs> I do, actually. Where are you headed? A date. <laughs> a date? That, that's a good one. <laughs> Dennis, I'm serious. I asked you to meet me here because I can't do this anymore. Okay, we need to break up. Let me guess, the old, it's not me, it's you, right? Uh, no, it's definitely you. That's a new one. We have absolutely nothing in common. Okay, I like fine art. You like football. I appreciate good dining. You like going to Hooters. I actually care about my appearance, and well, like, you obviously do not. You are just one Can of those people that- Can you do me a favor? What? Take off your sunglasses, we're inside. My eyes are all puffy. Please, just as a courtesy. Fine. Thank you. Dennis, you're a loser. A great A loser, and I, I just can't be attached to someone like that. I mean, now or ever. So I just, I wanted to tell you that I figured you would need to start to be told in person, so have a nice life. Hang on a second. What? I don't do this, Dennis. Don't embarrass yourself by groveling. Just sit down for a second, let me say a few things, and then you're free to go on your date or wherever. Hey, go ahead, and nothing you say is gonna change things. Okay. It's over. You're fine, over. just shut your trap, would you? Uh, excuse me? I said shut your trap. You're done talking, it's my turn now. You know, I could've taken the high road and just let you walk on out of here, but then I thought better of it. Despite the fact that the sooner you get out of here, the sooner I never have to see your stupid face again, I can't just let you walk in here and tell me that you set up a date prior to coming in here and breaking up with me and let you get away well, with I it. Well, I did. So too bad, so sad. Sad? You're the sad one. You're a pathetic individual who's fallen victim to the latest fashion pop culture trend. You're like a walking <gasps> internet meme. Oh well, Paris Hilton carries a little dog in her purse, so I have to too. Well, you know what else Paris Hilton does? She fucks her boyfriend on camera. You ever get the urge to do that? Camera, gross. On top of it all off, your dog isn't even real. What the hell is that about? Okay, real dogs poop. Peanuts doesn't. Did you come up with that one all by yourself, genius? Oh. That's another thing. You are incredibly stupid. But the sad part is, is I'm even dumber than you are. What the hell was I thinking, staying with you for as long as I did? You were absolutely right in what you said earlier. We have nothing in common. Uh, she like fine arts. I like football. You think fine arts is Disney on ice. I don't. See? Nothing. Done? You are a horrible person, Jacity. 
You have done nothing but beat me down the entire time that we have been together. You have done everything you could to make me believe that I didn't deserve you. And you know what? After a while, I started believing it myself. I honestly thought that I couldn't find anyone better. But you know what? No more, sister. It is all over and done with. And I can finally say what I have been afraid to say for the better part of our relationship. Go for it. Fucking a lot. He really cleans out my pie case, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you two losers have fun making unattractive, incompetent babies. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, I just, well, I saw where you were going with it, and something had to be done. What was wrong with where I was going with it? Not enough pizzazz. Okay, you tell her to go fuck herself, she gets mildly angry, and then leaves. You tell her you were sleeping with someone else while you were together, that's gonna sit with her. She seemed fine when she walked out. Well, that's why it's so cool. She seems calm and collected now, but later on, Possibly when she's on a date with the newest poor bastard, it's gonna click. And she could just finally break down right then and there. Kind of ninja-like how it sneaks up on you. Yeah, I have to say that is better than what I have. Thanks. Waitress. Is that really your name? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, right? My parents wanted something original. I, I, I just think it's funny that your name is also your profession. It's a good thing they didn't name me Mattress. I could have ended up a hooker. Uh, so, uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Anything else I can get you? Uh, no, I think that's it. Thank you. You sure you don't want anything else? Uh, no, I think nothing at the moment. Alrighty. You know, it would have been so much cooler if you had just said that you wanted it. Give me a break, I just got back in the game. 